we'll just return it. Did you keep the receipt? Hey, they might not give you an issue. It's all about returns. You return stuff. Uh, my sister returns things professionally. That's her career. No, look, 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 look. That's, that's the whole point of the holidays. It's giving everything back. It's just a bunch of crap you don't want. And uh, if they're considerate, people will give you the receipt. I don't have time for this. Today's going to be a long episode. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to show you how to onboard Mac devices to Defender for Endpoint, because you got to keep those Macs secure. All right, the worst is they'll give you a store credit. You'll take a store credit. Okay, so since I started showing some of the Mac stuff, getting them into Intune, um, and then especially after the previous episode about Defender for Endpoint for Windows, I keep getting the question about Defender for Endpoint for Mac devices. How do we get them in there? And um, I will say it's not as simple as the Windows PCs. I think we covered that in about a eight to nine minute span, right? But what I will say is um, I'm going to go through it and we're going to go through it together. I have uh, my favorite Mac app, which is text edit. It's always reliable, works the same for years. This is everything we're gonna have to do to get the Mac um, onboarded into Defender for Endpoint. Let's go to uh, intune.microsoft.com, devices, Mac. Yeah, so this is our Mac. Let's take a look at everything we have to do. So let's look at our checklist, approve system extension. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to configuration profiles for our Mac and we're gonna go to create a profile. So we're gonna go new policy. Uh, we're gonna go templates and we are going to go extensions. Okay, so we're gonna name this um, just like the other ones, M365 Mac. Wait, how did I name them? Let me just go back. Let's leave it. Uh, M365 Mac. Okay. Just want to keep the naming concise. Extensions. Create. Five Mac. Sys extension for Defender. Okay. Okay. So what we got to do is system extensions. Okay, so allowed system extensions is what we're looking for right here. And there's two. The first one is com.microsoft.wdav.epsext. Uh, and the identifier is UBF8T346. G nine U B F eight T three four six G nine might surprise you. I didn't memorize that. I had to write it down. Com dot Microsoft dot W D A V. So this is the next one, and it is dot net extension, and this should be the same. Uh, team identifier here. So you can just copy that. 46G9. 46G9. Okay, great. Um, okay, that's excellent. So we can hit next. Next. We're going to add our Mac group. All Mac OS devices, select, next, and deploy that. Great, that is step one. So Defender for Endpoint is gonna need the ability to inspect socket traffic and report back to Defender. So we're gonna to need to create another policy for that. So again, we're gonna do templates. This is gonna be a custom policy. So I'm gonna call this M365 Mac net filter for defender uh we'll call this net filter custom configuration profile name device channel or user channel uh we are going to do device channel 
Okay, so the actual config profile is in an XML format. Um, Microsoft makes this available in uh, GitHub, and I'll put a link there. So this is what we're going to need. Um, so we can just download this, grab it here. So this will be the NetFilter mobile config. And let's download it. Okay. So going back here to Intune, we can just go to our downloads and grab that. Okay, perfect. Let's hit next, next. Same thing, we're gonna do this to our Mac devices. Oh, we can cross that right off the list. Look at us with two done in 12 minutes. Hopefully less for you if I edit out some of this crap, me fumbling around. Uh, full disk access. So we have to give a defender full disk access on the Mac. So we're going to create a policy, new policy. Again, we're going to go templates and custom, which is just another XML. So we're going to call this M365 Mac full disk access for defender. Okay. We'll call this uh, full disk access. Uh, that'll be device channel. Now we can go back to the same GitHub site uh, and we can grab the full disk mobile config here, which is what we need. And we can just grab this and we can just do the same thing at that point. There it is. Perfect. So you see, a lot of this is not difficult. You're just creating policy, and for the custom ones, you're grabbing the XML, so there's no reason you, you shouldn't fly through this. All right, so notifications is a bit different. So we're gonna, it's the same idea. We're gonna do the custom, uh, we're gonna do a custom policy here. Here, let's just refresh that. Yeah, there we go. You know what, let me rename these. Okay, there we go. I renamed them to look a little better. Have this defender piece here in front, uh, easier to identify. Anyway, uh, the next thing is going to be the notifications. And this is going to pretty much be the same thing. The only difference is we are going to have an option to customize um, the XML if we want to adjust the notifications for defender on the Mac. Mac, defender notifications so we're just going to call this notifications I thought it starts yelling at me that I didn't put the XML file like I just got here so we back up one and that's going to be no uh, uh notif mobile config um so so there is a um where is it here it is show notifications so if you wanted to disable that you can change that to uh false so that is um and there are some other things here you could adjust in this one so i just want to point that out you can download this and change it if you wanted it to i'm going to leave it alone but i figured it was worth calling that out um yeah that's the only difference with this one okay uh, accessibility settings, this is going to be the same thing. Um, so I'm probably going to, uh, probably going to go ahead and skip that because we're just going to do the same thing we did. Make the, the profile, download the config and post the XML. Okay. So there's accessibility settings. The next one we're going to do, um, is for the auto update channel basically telling uh basically saying the microsoft auto update service okay so the auto update is going to be down here in settings microsoft auto update um so that's this guy this uh auto update to mobile config now this is um you have the option just like with windows updates to do different channels uh, so you have a beta uh uh uh, current and then two current channels uh current preview and current production 
channel name production so it's either going to be production previews preview insider slow or insider fast we're going to leave a production but that is where you would change that so let's go grab that and set that up all right so that takes care of our intune policies um and in future videos we're going to go over some of the specifics so a few things let's go over to the endpoint security console microsoft defender for endpoint you want to make sure if you follow the guide from yesterday you want to make sure the connector is enabled we want to make sure um you have yeah you have devices showing so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh publish the the uh onboarding package so we're going to go to apps mac os and add and under app type you can see they have a microsoft defender for endpoint already nice and packaged for us so we're going to select that okay um we can show it as featured sure we're gonna try to push this though um so we're gonna make this required we're gonna make this required for our mac devices and we are gonna push that out create super easy right okay so with the app published and set to install to the max uh we are now going to we have to now onboard them right so the onboarding mechanism is going to be done with a package so we're going to go to um i went to in the security console settings endpoints and device management now we don't need installation packages we're getting that from intune we do need the onboarding package so let's go grab that and what we do with that is we can go ahead and unzip that and they give us intune and jamf oh good for them um they give us both so you see it's an xml so just like the other uh policies uh we're going to go ahead and do a custom um custom profile here so configuration oh hold on mac configuration profiles and now we're going to do the onboarding so this is going to be a custom one C custom create m365 mac defender onboarding config okay we could just call this onboarding and we're gonna go to our downloads again uh the package into and it'll be the xml okay so now we're gonna go to same thing all mac os devices and we're gonna get that deployed there we go all right so we're gonna wait for that to hit and then we're gonna check in on our client device to see if the app showed up okay so if i come over to my mac client device um as I was coming in, I got these two notifications. Uh, Microsoft Defender was added to the background. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Open Microsoft Defender. Okay, so you can see the app is here. Protection definitions are out of date. Um, we have policies of when to run those scans. This will just automatically do that. But that's here. If we look at the system settings, we can see, um, if we go down to privacy, go down to profiles you're going to see everything showed up full disk access uh, for defender um, we have the net filter notifications onboarding the system extension profile um, so yeah pre pretty much everything we deployed uh, from Intune is here if we go back to look in the lab if we go back to the lab we go to Mac OS and if we take a look at our device now configuration everything is here nice and happy you see an apps defender for endpoint install go back to the device inventory we can see that the uh, mac os machine has been onboarded and it is active all right well there we go um got a lot of questions about that so hopefully that at least gets us started obviously there's a lot more steps than doing a windows machine in it 
but it's not too bad. There's still a lot of security policy to configure. We'll get to that in an upcoming video, although that's going to depend a lot on your organization, what the requirements are. But at least having the Mac manage it into and now bringing it into Defender with the rest of the fleet is a big plus. So if you have questions, hit us up in the Discord. Let me know if you're using Defender for Endpoint for Mac, and uh, we'll talk to you later. One.